Also with us is the international restaurateur, Chira Orsini, whose Pomodoro restaurant is one of this town's in place for fine food and entertainment. And now, here's your man of the half hour, Skippy Lowe. Ah, oh, Sally Marr. Do you know something, Sally Marr? I worked with Lenny Bruce, you remember, on Western Avenue. What was the name of the place? I don't remember. I, you know something? I've been trying to think of the name. It's Somebody been... told it to me. I forgot. I did, too. It was we'll a... have to look it up. <laughs> uh, Sally, what is new and exciting in your life right now? I mean, there's a lot of things happening in your life. So many things happen at once. I can't catch up with it. Someone just did a benefit. Well, well, well what? something happened before. We'll talk about the benefit. Okay, go ahead. Sam Kinison, you know, a few years back, like all the comics, I always try to help him, right. you know. You know, tell them not to tell them what to do because nobody's going to do what you tell them anyway. Right. <laughs> but they want to hear themselves talk. And he said, Should I talk loud? Should I talk so? Whatever it was. And I go with him to Calabas and different places wherever he worked. I don't do this, don't do that. And we're very tight, very close for a couple of years. Uh -huh. Then all of a sudden he made it and he started running. He called me up one day and he said, Sally, it's time you got paid back for everything you did for everybody. I said, I never did anything for anybody. I did it for me. He said, what do you mean you did it for you? I said, you know, I never signed anybody. Uh -huh. He said, yeah. He said, you never made a business out of it. He said, that's why you're broke. I said, I'm never broke. Uh -huh. I said, I'm never broke. I said, I could go anywhere to sleep, anywhere exactly. to Exactly. He said, is that all you need in your life? I said, fun, food, place to sleep, and to be able to help somebody every day. And I, you know I enjoy that. He said, I'm going to pay you back. He said, in two weeks at the uh, Madison Square Garden, St. Valentine's Day, uh -huh. I'm going to give you a tribute. Oh, I said, isn't that sweet? He said, and you're going to get the door, the, uh, the door? proceeds. Really? I said, the what? He said, proceeds. I said, what's that? <laughs> he said, money. What do you mean, what's that? <laughs> I said, you mean you're going to give me money for that? Uh -huh. He said, yeah, $100,000. So. Oh, come on. And I said, don't be silly. I said, tell you what, you, re you really mean that? Uh-huh. I said, tell you what, I said, send me a, a $5,000 deposit, uh -huh. and if you do that, I'll believe you. He said, how do you want it? I said, in a half hour with the messenger boy. <laughs> and he did send it? <laughs> did he? An hour later, guy knocked at the door, uh -huh. a $5,000 check. I called up, I said, you know, you really mean it. <laughs> do you know, he wanted, he wanted me to go and all my friends, uh -huh. and I just couldn't make that move in February with the snow, and I hadn't been in New York for five years. I he can't. did it. So I, I, I did a... Uh, I, That's wonderful, Sally. I did a thing for him. A lot of people don't forget Lenny Bruce, do they? Can I ask you a question? Why? Well, go ahead. Can I ask you a question? Is this program that I'm on now prohibit you to use three-letter words or six-letter words? or? Uh, kind well, of. My I audience, I, I think my no, audience. No, I won't use the words. Yeah. I, but can I, but wait. Yeah. See, Lenny used those words. He, there was a meaning for when Lenny used those words in nightclub. Though. Oh, absolutely. Kids today, they use that word. Did they destroy that? They dis am I but correct? But you know what? The more they use it, the more money they make. What do you, you know what I think it is? Because the children are so rebellion. There's such a rebellion. See. That the, the, the more disgusted, I, I, Lenny told but me. But we were all rebelling. Well, we were wait a minute. kids, darling. 30 years ago, 30 years ago, Lenny said to me, Ma, where do you think comedy is going? Right. I said, I think people are going to go on stage and tear the clothes off each other. Eventually, people are going to tear the clothes off each other's Martin backs. Martin Downey. Go and ahead. he said, what yeah. made you say that, Ma? Uh -huh. I said, it's a feeling. I get that feeling inside. I can see the way the way it's going. Everything is happening. This All of a sudden, I saw floods, uh -huh. wrecks, things I never saw in my life, mm -hmm. earthquakes, and all these things happening. And I said, that's very upsetting. Uh -huh. that's got to, the children got to feel that as they're growing, that there's no future. Growing up with, with Lenny. Growing up. With Lenny. Where? Where was it? I lived out you? on the island of Freeport. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, and then I was divorced. What was his first, do you remember way back, Sally, his first job, Lenny Bruce's first, very first, on stage, using that word? Shocked oh, no. everybody? No, he didn't do that for about seven years. Oh, he didn't? Oh, no, he just did impressions. Impressions. And corny jokes. And what made him do a changed around to do that, Sally? There was got to be some, some reason for him to do that. Well, um, he had some kind of a family change, but that wasn't it. He just grew into the reality uh -huh. of that um, reality, because uh, I used to say to Lenny, I said, you know, you're a fraud. Uh -huh. He said, what do you mean I'm a fraud? I said, you see the way I walk out and I talk to everybody? I walk out on stage naked. You know what means naked? Of course. No material. No material. No nothing. I make a situation right. out of anything. Ad living. Yeah. Ad libbed all the That's time. That's right. I was too poor to buy material, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you were a comedian. Stand up comedy. Stand up comedy. Yeah. Up in the mountains, or? No, forget about the mountains. Okay. That wasn't my Why thing. Why forget about it, the mountains? Well, because I was too sophisticated. I did a satire on Lady Macbeth, and they didn't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Where were you working with that material then? Uh, well, where did I work first? Yes. In the village, or? In Greenwich Village. Yeah, I figured. And that. I was very campy. And anybody uh -huh. that was campy, somebody saw Bette Middle and they said, She took your whole act. <laughs> I said, Well, thank God she became a success with uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. The only thing I never used was a off. I never said hell on stage. Uh -huh. not, not for we any never other reason. We never did. No, 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 no. Not we. I was a clown. Uh -huh. And you see a person that's a clown that I run out and take a slide and do a split. I see. You see that kind of a crazy person and then you say a four letter word. Why? Uh -huh. Did it yeah. fit? No. Joan Rivers is going to be doing your life story. Yeah, she's doing my life story. And she's going to portray me. I'm she's the only one in why? Hollywood that ever sold, I didn't sell, or could get a movie without a script, uh, and without a book. book. Are you writing a book? No, you don't understand. I'm the only one in Hollywood ever did that. Do you know how it happened? How? I developed Dennis Klein, a great, great. writer. He is a good writer. Yes. A writer, great writer. Jo Johnny Carson, I met Carson, him 20 years he? ago. Johnny he, Carson? No, no, he did Buffalo Bill and the... Uh, Mary Hart and Mary Hart. Mary Hart. And he was, see, all my people are like a germ away from me. Right. Off the wall people. You know, they don't tell jokes. None of my people tell jokes. No offense, Mr. No, no, don't, don't, no, no, I don't no. understand what you mean by that off the wall people. I meant, well, did they you don't see Mary Hart and Mary Hart yes, in the material? But yes, it wasn't an ordinary set. program. Did you see Buffalo Bill, the show that he wrote? No, I did not. But it, it, it doesn't matter. In yeah. other words, it wasn't the ordinary. It was an offbeat. Offbeat. All my okay. people that I've helped developed into offbeat people like I Pat see. Marita, you know, I uh -huh. met him. So you handle a lot of people then. You have made a lot of Well, young I comedians. never signed anybody because I thought if you sign him, the first if you sign with somebody, what would you think about? You say, I bet I, I bet I could have done better. But if you get it for for nothing, what could be better what could be better than nothing? So I never had a hold on anybody. You know why? Why? I would never give up my freedom. I see. And if I sign something, it's a commitment. Do you know I lived a lifetime and never committed? Tell me I about, have? I want to know about Joan Rivers. What kind of a life is she, is she going to do with Sally Mar? What is the life of Sally I'm Mar? dying to know. I'd like to know. It's not, going to, it's not going to be comedy at all. Is it tragedy? Well, because when she got all my tapes, Dennis was the one that said to her, the most interesting woman in this town is Lenny Bruce's mother. And she said, I know she's very funny. No, 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 no. He said, you really don't know Sally. Uh -huh. Now, I know her when she was helping Lenny with his scripts up on right. the hill. And uh, Lenny encouraged her to be a comedian. She's got telegrams that Lenny sent her in the village when uh -huh. she first did it. And he said, you've got to keep going. You, you know, you got to keep going. But anyway, her husband and I were friends. Right. And every time I see him, I tell him some story. And he said, oh, please, uh -huh. my, tell my friend, oh, uh -huh. tell my friend uh -huh. that story. Uh -huh. And he was really into me as a person. I so see. when all this came about, he said to Joan, it had the timing. That's it's it. timing. Timing. When she That's had right. trouble with Carson, then she went to Fox. Mm -hmm. She was up in the air. Mm -hmm. For me to be able to impress her at any other time when she was busy, right. it's all timing. She, she wasn't doing anything. She was unhappy. Mm -hmm. And her husband says, I want you to hear these tapes. Uh, she went crazy. One uh -huh. day she came to my door. Uh -huh. Out of the clear blue, that's how it happened. She knocked at the door. That's what happens. And that's light. what happened. Yeah. I said, who is it? She said, Joan. I said, Joan who? She said, how do you like that? I lose one job. Nobody knows me. And she came with a cheesecake. Uh -huh. and I said, are you Jewish? <laughs> she said, get my car. Uh -huh. We went right to her house. She said, I'm going to do your life story. 
She's not bitter, is she? Joan? No, she's the Pe sweetest, isn't she? Pe and kindest. I know. When are people going to ever learn that the person that talks the loudest and talks fresh and comes on hard is the sweetest thing inside? He's just afraid that somebody won't hurt him. Hurt him. That's right. I Watch agree. out for those people who smile, who smile. and are very yeah. sweet and they never get mad. Uh -huh. Take a walk. When back. you look for comedians and comics, when you go to the clubs, you see these young people. What do you see in them, Sally? You've been around for years, and your son is, you know, what do you actually see? I'll tell you what I see. I see, see a lot of people that are not themselves. Even if their material's bad, you see. Oh, I don't care about that. But the material, because that, go ahead. No. What do you see? No, 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 I, I, I look at them, and I say, I wonder if there's something inside they're afraid to do. I wonder if there's something inside. Now, that's how I develop people. You know that uh, African kid, I call him African because they get mad at me if I call him black now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, yeah. I can't think of his name. Coswell. 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 Right. Yeah. Now, he, he, he got up there, and I said to him, uh, I want you to remember one thing. If I, I'm going to help you, but you've got to do something. You're doing something that you think they like. Right. Big mistake. I want you to do that's what I, uh, when I do found something that, that do something that everybody said you can't do that they won't let you do. who's they I want to know who they is yeah. you're they yes I said you, I don't want to hear they so I said Who's Coswell and sure I just told him that and he called me back and he said uh -huh. to me oh you're so right you're so right he said now I developed this listen uh -huh. and once I get that out of somebody I got him going uh -huh. I always try to get who they are because oh, you know that everybody's different True. John True. Wayne was a star because he was different. Betty Davis was a star when she said, uh -huh. I hate you. And I'm glad I hate you. I didn't hate you. I'd like you. Uh -huh. Personality, individuality. No, not, in, not even the personality. That's how she talks. I, I don't think I can do it. Because she never gave up her voice for a script. John Wayne never gave up his walk for a script. Personality, dear. You develop your own personality and you stick with it. That's no, what you it don't is. want to do anybody else. You want That's to be right. you. That's right. And the ones that have that kind of, per and they develop into professional people, uh -huh. they have a better chance. Your son, have records still selling. Lenny Bruce's records are still selling. You he know, I went to a bookstore and I, I mean, couldn't find uh, the books that are out on him. There's an absurgence on Lenny uh -huh. because the generation grew up. It was the same thing when I tried to sell. Lenny died in 1966. 1966. 1966. I went right out and all I had, the, we, we lost the house, we lost everything, and all I had in a basket was tapes of Lenny. That's it. No money, no nothing, Kitty and I, I was dumb. I didn't know about real estate, yes. that I could have lived there for a whole year. Uh -huh. You know, I didn't know anything about that, or, you uh, know. So I was staying in different people's houses with yes. Kitty, and uh, somebody said, oh, how could you be so cold? You know what they wanted to see? They wanted to see me tearing my hair out and crying, and they couldn't stand to see a strong person. I had to go on. But you I had, had strong people behind you, though. Sandy Barron, you had, you had a well, lot. Well, these are people I found. Yeah, you found them? They found you, Sally. No, they I don't loved think so. you. No. Yes, yes. They loved you, Sally. No, these are people that I all Lots of wonderful Everybody people. Jackie I, Gale. No, all wait a minute. All these people that I discovered. Yeah. Jackie Gale was a drummer in my group. He couldn't, I don't want to say he couldn't talk, but right. he certainly he wasn't a stand up comic. He was a drummer. Yes. But I saw what he had because when he got off stage, he put everybody down. Ah, don't tell me that. Yeah, I'll, yeah, tell yeah, what, yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to uh -huh. do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do there. I'm going to like that. Yeah, He's yeah. no good. I'll tell you. Uh -huh. I said to myself, this is a bitter man. If I could get that bitterness <laughs> on stage, he'd be angry. Yeah. What is he so yeah. angry? His mother died when he was 14. Uh -huh. He loved to eat. She was uh -huh. a good cook. Uh -huh. And he was mad. And I, I told him that. <laughs> loved to cook. And he, he just loved me <laughs> like this is, uh -huh. I was his other mother. I uh -huh. said, he loved food. He uh -huh. loved food and his mother died. How dare she leave? I love it. Jeez, I gotta come home. I got nothing to eat. Where'd you go? Oh. You know, Sally, there's a restaurant you go to all the time. It's called Cyril's Pomodora. Oh, in God. Man. Cyril is Cyril. from Roma, are you? Napoli. Actually? Napoli. Napoli. Napoli yeah. You have the marvelous restaurant in town. <coughs> colorful restaurant. It is like, like colorful is your outfit. I love it. <laughs> Thank and you very much for that. Because, Moment. you know why it's colorful? Because it's you go there not just to eat pasta or pizza. Atmosphere. It's the atmosphere. The people that come to see no, you. You feel it when you walk in the door. Isn't it great? It's walking that door and you feel like you're loved. Yeah. You are. So, go ahead. It's also thanks to you lately. We are we're getting um, a numbers of different people in crowds for this special show you've been putting on yes, every I've Monday. Yes, I've been putting the show on there on and Monday nights for you. Uh, right. It's wonderful, very remarkable what you're doing. And but, I but thank Cyril, you that. before me, I mean, let's face it, you have the restaurant is bringing Cornell Wiles and Jacqueline Stallones and, and Sally Mars True. and Jackie Gales, all these wonderful stars True. come and in there. Also, Red mainly buttons. for the food as well, yeah. Also, is the food, the quality. The food. Yeah. And it's yeah. reasonable. 
It's reasonable. The it's gimmick really always good. believed in the, a not over price. You have a place in London? I have a place in London which I started about 10 years ago. Uh -huh. And one in Milano which has been there for 15 years, uh -huh. even though we call it different over there. And one in Boca Rosani, West Palm Beach, uh -huh. just opened last October. Cheryl, uh, tell me, were you actually from Maples and did you come to uh, London first? Did you go to London? No, or I, um, I went to London middle of the 70s because I, I couldn't stand not to speak a word of English in Italy. Uh -huh. I decided if I ever got to, if I ever got to school in Italy, uh -huh. no way I would learn to speak English. Uh -huh. And say their lifetime, we never do. So I picked up my luggage and I went to London mm -hmm. and uh, that's it. That's why I came in America in Africa. I love your last name. Oh, Orsini. Orsini. Are you related? Orsini. Are you s no, my grandfather was um, related to the Orsini family in Rome. They were? Yeah, he I was. Because you're into wardrobe. I mean, everyone um, in town is talking about uh, your uh, wardrobe, your, uh, all your jewels. And everything. <laughs> Tell me, what made you wear all this outfit? I mean, Liberace is... Liberace, but you are. Tell me. Well, what? I don't think I can be Liberace myself. <laughs> no, but you're putting it on your chest, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. Well, because I brought um, Susan Strasberg in your restaurant uh, with a producer. That's and you know the producer got an idea for a script on him? Yes. Immediately. No. I told him. Yeah, immediately. Thank you, yes. Yes. But you have, you have uh, singers and comedians on we Monday have, nights? Yes, we have a Monday and night. It's a special show. And right. also through the week we do tend to have different entertainers. Uh -huh. Very low key background in music, you know, dining and music, but also very interesting, unusual. What is the best dish in your restaurant? What is What's it's a, you know, you varied a from very, uh, very good appetizers, from pasta to fish, uh -huh. or um, you know, chicken, uh -huh. veals. You know, it's a quite a few combination in the menu. How did you and meet uh, this gentleman? I just got to know Sally Mar. I really. Believe I fall in love with you. Because you're so close, but uh, a Chabad. That's uh -huh. an organization. Uh huh. Yeah, and uh, I went there with Pat Morita. He was doing a money pitch and Lee Wolfer. Right. And the rabbi said to me, uh, you know, you're not allowed to hug. A Chabad rabbi. <laughs> and I said, really? I said, I think at the right time, I said, I think I could do a little more than that. He laughed, you know. <laughs> yeah, of course. So he says, he gave me his card. And he uh -huh. laughed. Uh -huh. And he laughed. He gave me his card. He says, come in. And, and I never went over there. And uh, I don't know, a, w a while went back, and some uh -huh. girl called me up. And she said, you want to go to a good restaurant? Uh -huh. I want to take you there to eat. They got the best food you ever tasted. It is. She said, a place called Cheer. I sound so familiar. And I walked in, and he said, and he took my hand, he kissed my hand, Mr. Continental. Yes. <laughs> he does it all uh, to all the He girls. does it to everybody. Yeah. I didn't feel so important. Even men sometimes, he kisses her cheeks back well, and forth. Well, if he catches well, them. That's because he's an Italian custom. Of course. That's a custom, know. that's Continental. Go ahead. And he said to me, I knew you'd come back into my life. I said, what life? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And we stayed friends ever uh -huh. since. Che and then yeah. he told me that he was a, not only inspired, but obsessed by my son, Lenny. Ah. I said, really? I said, why? He I said, mean, if a young man... An Italian man. Listen to this, and imagine yeah. from the continent yeah. to come and say that to me. He said, if a young man, I heard about him in America, could fight the system, he said, then what am I doing in, in this poverty? He said, yes. I can go out and make something of myself. Uh -huh. And he said, your son was the most greatest inspiration in my life. And he gave me memorabilia on Lenny, and I'm, I'm still in shock. You know, you've traveled all over the world. I, I did, yeah, for the yeah. last 15, 20 years yeah. in China. You were in China. So I tried to do some work over there, not mainly, uh, was Taiwan mainly, uh -huh. some import export. Taipei, yes, uh-huh. Yeah. And you've traveled, and you yeah. opened your, uh, you had restaurants in these places, or just traveling? No, doing to, some import exports on um, uh -huh. different things, like, you know, canes for furniture, or liquor, or food uh -huh. that takes from Italy to Taiwan. So, well, what makes it... Uh, a restaurant so successful like Spargo's. I mean, here's an example. Spargo's. Spargo, a great Lenny, chef. Uh -huh. A great chef at Spargo itself. Wolf you think so? Park. Well, that's what I hate about it, and I'm sure he's keeping his reputation as always he was. Uh -huh. I've been there a few times when I, when I very first came in America, uh -huh. and I didn't find the food. His food very excellent. It is. Yeah. And what makes your restaurant so popular right now? Your restaurant's getting to be very popular. Well, my thing is, is the help also my personal piano I do around the town with the people around me. They do feel I'm trying really to take care of what uh -huh. I'm doing and also not to be overpriced for what we're trying to be down it there. It isn't. No, it isn't. Wow. And the food, the quality food is, uh, is excellent mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. I love the atmosphere there. And the atmosphere is what You have an Italian singer I put on sometimes on Monday nights. It is. It's a wonderful he is color. wonderful. He's, he's, he's from Rome. He's from Rome. He's a recording star from Rome. 
and I would like to bring him on right now. Many uh, years Sally, ago. Yeah, pardon me? Many years ago. He was very famous in Italy, a few years famous? ago. And uh, he just came, over, just came over in America to do some recording. Uh -huh. And while he's over here, he came to help also my uh, reputation in music in the restaurant I think he is by singing in there. And the, and, you know, the applause he gets today is unbelievable. Yes, he's wonderful. He's I'd wonderful. like to bring him right now I'm on the stage. To even His name is Carlo Chinelli. Voila. As the child within his lips There are visions of a man Laying out a master plan That the boy must learn to play Lovely lady dressed in love Can't you see what I made of? And there's moments now to spire. One more song in the fire. One more song in the fire. The city keeps the beat for the shadows on the street. Everyone a chance to meet Like a merry-go-round When the child has lost his dream Will his life be as it seems Will he wake to the stream Of a world lived on the ground If the love should intercede Or the boy in time and need Will the man inside the heat Or no hear by sound the hopes of yesterday Just the seeds for fears today I'll take leave on one more day I shall fall again The child can play He the dreams within the man Time to reach the day. I've been lost along the way. Only travel by the young. Lovely lady in my night. Are you taken by the sight? One more song in the fire One more song in the fire The city keeps the beat For the shadows on the street Everyone a chance to meet Like a merry-go-round When the child has lost his dream Will his life be as it seems Will he wait to the extreme of the world he on the ground? If a law should intercede for the boy in time of need, will the man inside the kid on a tear by the sound? Had the hope from yesterday, just a seed for tears today. At the grieve of one more day, I should fall again the child. Wonderful, Carlo. Beautiful. Thank you. Carlo Sinelli, tell me. Carlo, yeah. tell me something. Where are you actually from? 
from Genova. Genova, yeah. ah. You remember Cri Cristoforo Columbus? Si. Yeah. Tell me something. Roma, you have you have a big, big record in Roma. What is the name of it? This wasn't it. Though. RCA. RCA? Yeah. <laughs> America. Oh, okay. But in Roma, uh, Rome is uh, my second city. I see. Because uh, uh, Rome and are Milan for, for, for uh, singers oh. are the best. Now, what made Carlos Cinelli come from, uh, why to California, not to New York? Because there's so much Italians Be in New York. Because I think uh, Los Angeles is the center of, uh, of the world uh -huh. uh, for the music. For the musicians. Ah, for the recordings. Yeah, for I the see. recordings. Is that what for you're the here for? Technica, for the technica, uh -huh. for the everything. I see. <coughs> what made you sing this? Uh, I, what made you sing this particular song today? Because it's such a great number. I love it. Because I've seen you sing you. other songs, but this particular song. What made you do this? A particular songs because I I feel this song, uh -huh. it is mine. You know. Yeah, I see. And uh, and uh, one more soul on the fire uh -huh. means uh, means uh, the people means. Uh, today. Th thank you, Carlo. That Thanks. was wonderful, wasn't it, Sally? God, wasn't he? Wonderful singer, isn't he? Oh, really well. Bravo, wasn't it? Bravissimo. Yes. He's, he's singing er, every, uh, Monday nights just Monday nights only. Occasionally, yeah. when it's he's there as a guest, some yes. customer says, please, can you sing a song? Yes. <laughs> he's going on. God, we had Martha Ray on the other night. Martha Ray came into the club the other night, and she sang some songs. And you know she took her teeth out. I loved it. And <laughs> dropped her teeth That's right into the glass. I loved it. Wasn't that fabulous? Uh, 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 oh, you weren't there that night, were you? No, but no, I, I do that there. with my teeth. <clears throat> you do? And I never got a commercial. She got it first. <laughs> she certainly did. <laughs> she stole my teeth. <laughs> Can I mention one more thing? You may mention anything you Frankie wish, Ray Frankie and Ray and Chiro. Yeah are planning to do a found tell them, a foundation. Foundation for Lenny. For Lenny Bruce. For Lenny Bruce. And the yeah. hall and the Walk of Fame. And Frankie is getting that on, Frankie Ray. Oh, I'm what? putting Lenny and on him. the Walk of Fame and also I'm him planning to, to work on this foundation. Especially that's now because so we start to move on. Oh that's great. Uh, Isn't that all wonderful? we want to do is to keep the spirit alive of Lenny, that's all. You want to keep the life of Lenny going. Spirit, of course, yeah, the spirit is alive. Of course, of course. And also to help the, the this young committee you know, comedians, which then is some help and support. But so Sally, yeah, do you know something? You're doing great for all these young comedians around town. I oh, mean, yeah. yeah, you're helping a lot of people, not just comedians, singers too. You help oh, singers always. too. Oh, anybody that's in the business. Any business. Anything. The you support them all. Morally supported them. What keeps Sally's energy going? God, my acupuncturist. Girl, just out there I every ask myself sometimes how she can manage Roger. all those She's three years. Every years. Every Unbelievable. Here Roger Hirsch, my acupuncturist, I want you to go there. You just keep your energy up. It's more busy you are. You know how sick I was last year? Yes. You I see do. me walk like this? Yes, but you kept working. You kept walking and you kept you don't out know. there. I used to walk like this and somebody said, What's she doing? She's drunk. Is she drunk? <laughs> uh huh. Here, tell you, I used to hold on to the wall. It's unbelievable. Because I had to meet a comedian. He needed yeah. some advice. And I, that's why I walked. You do I, give a lot of advice to young comics, well, don't you? Well, what do you, you think you can teach? Can't. you got to go out there and let them work it and Look find out you themselves. You th let's talk about you for one second. No, I don't want to talk you about You don't me. know what you've done for people. Every time I talk to a comedian and a, and a singer, it says, if it wasn't for Skippy, I wouldn't be where I am. Oh, I just and put them up. Now, listen this. That's I said, I can believe that because I know a lot of people wouldn't be where they are. But not everybody listens because they can't relate. Yes, yes. When they yes. relate to you, you can help them. Yeah. You can't teach anybody. Come on. Did you listen to your mother? No. Did I? No. That was the best <laughs> advice, and that was for nothing. Joan Rivers, the movie. When is yeah, it coming Joan out? When is it coming out? I'm going to pay you back. He said in two weeks at the uh, Madison Square Garden, St. Valentine's Day, uh -huh. I'm going to give you a tribute. Oh, I said, isn't that sweet? He said, and you're going to get the door, the, uh, the door? proceeds. Really? I said, the what? He said, proceeds. I said, what's that? He said, money. What do you mean, what's that? <laughs> I said, you mean you're going to give me money for that? Uh -huh. 
He said, yeah, $100,000. Oh, so. come on. I said, don't be silly. I said, tell you what. You, re you really mean that? Uh-huh. I said, tell you what. I said, send me a, a $5,000 deposit. Uh -huh. And if you do that, I'll believe you. He said, how do you want it? I said, in a half hour with the messenger boy. And he did send it? <laughs> did he? An hour later, guy knocked to the door. Uh -huh. A $5,000 check. I called up. I said, you know, you really mean it. Do you know what he wanted? He wanted me to go and all my friends, uh -huh. and I just couldn't make that move in February with the snow, and I hadn't been in New York for five years. He did it. So I, I, I did a... Uh, That's I, wonderful, Sally. I did a thing for him. A lot of people don't forget Lenny Bruce, do they? Can I ask you a question? Why? Well, go ahead. Can I ask you a question? Is this program that I'm on now prohibit you to use three-letter words or six-letter words or... Uh, Kind no, of. My I audience, I, I think my no, audience... No, I won't use the words. Yeah. I, but can I... But wait. Yeah. See, Lenny used those words. He, there was a meaning for when Lenny used those words in nightclub. Though. Oh, absolutely. Kids today, they use that word. Did they destroy them? They dis Am I but correct? But you know what? The more they use it, the more money they make. What You know what I think it is? Because the children are so rebellion. They're such a rebellion. See? That the 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 more disgusted I, I Lenny told but we me we were all debelling. We were kids, darling. Thirty years ago, thirty years ago, Lenny said to me, "Ma, where do you think comedy is going?" Right. I said, "I think people are going to go on stage and tear the clothes off each other. Eventually, people are going to tear the clothes off each other's Ma, backs." Downey. And he said, "What yeah. made you say that, Ma?" Uh huh. I said, "It's a feeling. I get that." A feeling inside, I can see the way the way it's going. Everything is happening. This all of a sudden, I saw floods, uh -huh. wrecks, things I never saw in my life, mm -hmm. earthquakes, and all these things happening. And I said, that's very upsetting. Uh -huh. That's got to the children got to feel that as they're growing, that there's no future. Growing up with, with growing Lenny. up with Lenny. Where where was it? I lived out you? on the island, of Freeport. Uh huh. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I was divorced. What was his first? Do you remember way back? Also with us is the international restaurateur, Chira Orsini, whose Pomodoro restaurant is one of this town's in place for fine food and entertainment. And now, here's your man of the half hour, Skippy Lowe. Ah, oh, Sally Marr. Do you know something, Sally Marr? I worked with Lenny Bruce, you remember, on Western Avenue. What was the name of the place? I don't remember. Are you know something? I've been trying to think of the name. It's Somebody been told it to me. I forgot. I did too. It was we'll have to look it up. <laughs> Sally, what is new and exciting in your life right now? I mean, there's a lot of things happening. So many in things your life. happen at once. I can't catch up with it. Someone just did a benefit. Well, well, well something happened before. We'll talk about the benefit. Okay, go ahead. Sam Kinison, you know, a few years back, like all the comics, I always tried to help him. Right. You know. You know, tell them not to tell them what to do because nobody's going to do what you tell them anyway. Right. <laughs> but they want to hear themselves talk. And he said, Should I talk loud? Should I talk so? Whatever it was. And I go with him to Calabas and different places wherever uh -huh. he worked. I don't do this, don't do that. And we're very tight, very close for a couple of years. Uh -huh. Then all of a sudden he made it and he started running. He called me up one day and he said, Sally, it's time you got paid back for everything you did for everybody. I said, I never did anything for anybody. I did it for me. He said, what do you mean you did it for you? I said, you know, I never signed anybody. Uh -huh. He said, yeah. He said, you never made a business out of it. He said, that's why you're broke. I said, I'm never broke. Uh -huh. I said, I'm never broke. I said, I could go anywhere to sleep, anywhere exactly. to eat. He said, is that all you need in your life? I said, fun, food, place to sleep, and to be able to help somebody every day. Now, you know I enjoy that. He said, oh, that he wrote. No, I did not. But it, it, it doesn't matter. In yeah. other words, it wasn't the audio. It was an offbeat. Offbeat. All my okay. people that I've helped developed into offbeat people like I Pat see. Marita, you know, I uh -huh. met him. So you handle a lot of people then. You have made a lot of Well, young I comedians. never signed anybody because I thought 
if you sign them, the first, if you sign with somebody, what would you think about? You say, I bet I, I, bet I could have done better. But if you get it for, for nothing, what could, be be what could be better than nothing? So I never had a hold on anybody. You know why? Why? I would never give up my freedom. Nice. And if I sign something, it's a commitment. Do you know I lived a lifetime and never committed? Tell me I about, I want to know about Joan Rivers. What kind of a life is she, she going to do of Sally Mar? What is the life of Sally I'm Mar? dying to know. I'd like to know. It's not going to, it's not going to be comedy at all. Is it tragedy? Well, because when she got all my tapes, Dennis was the one that said to her, the most interesting woman in this town is Lenny Bruce's mother. And she said, I know she's very funny. No, 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 no. He said, you really don't know Sally. Uh -huh. Now, I know her when she was helping Lenny with his scripts up on right. the hill. And uh, Lenny encouraged her to be a comedian. She's got telegrams that Lenny sent her in the village when uh -huh. she first did it. And he said, you've got to keep going. You, you know, you've got to keep going. But anyway, her husband and I were friends. Right. And every time I see him, I tell him some story. And he said, oh, please, uh -huh. my, tell my friend, oh, uh -huh. tell my friend uh -huh. that story. Uh -huh. And he was really into me as a person. I so see. when all this came about, he said to Joan, it had timing. That's it's it. timing. timing. When she That's had right. trouble with Carson, then she went to Fox. Mm -hmm. She was up in the air. Mm -hmm. For me to be able to impress her at any other time when she was busy, right. it's all timing. She, she wasn't doing anything. She was unhappy. Mm -hmm. And her husband says, I want you to hear these tapes. Uh, she went crazy. One uh, day she came to my door. Out of the clear blue, that's how it happened. She knocked at the door. That's what happens. And that's life. what happened. Yeah. I said, who is it? She said, Joan. I said, Joan who? She said, how do you like that? I lose one job. Nobody knows me. And she came with a cheesecake. Uh -huh. and I said, are you Jewish? <laughs> she said, get my car. Uh -huh. We went right to her house. She said, I'm going to do your life story. She's not bitter, is she, Joan? No, she's the people, sweetest isn't she? Pe and kindest. I know. When are people going to ever learn that the person that talks the loudest and talks fresh and comes on hard. Jack Sally, his first job, Lenny Bruce's first, very first on stage using that word, shocked oh, no. everybody. No, he didn't do that for about seven years. Oh, he didn't? Oh, no, he just did impressions. Impressions. And corny jokes. And what made him do a change to round to do that, Sally? There was got to be some, some reason for him to do that. Well, um, he had some kind of a family change. But that wasn't it. He just grew into the reality uh -huh. of that um, reality. Because uh, I used to say to Lenny, I said, you know, you're a fraud. Uh -huh. He said, what do you mean I'm a fraud? I said, you see the way I walk out and I talk to everybody? Uh -huh. I walk out on stage naked. You know what means naked? Of course. No material, no material. No nothing. I make a situation right. out of anything. Ad living. Yeah. Ad lived all the That's time. That's right. I was too poor to buy material, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you were a comedian? Stand-up comedy. Stand-up comedy yeah. up in the mountains or? No, forget about the mountains. Okay. That wasn't my Why thing. Why forget about it, the mountains? Well, because I was too sophisticated. I did a satire on Lady Macbeth and they didn't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Where were you working with that material then? Uh, well, where did I work first? Yes. In the village or? In Greenwich Village. Yeah, I figured And that. I was very campy and anybody uh -huh. that was campy. Somebody saw Beth Middle and they said, she took your whole act. <laughs> I said, well, thank God she became a success with uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. The only thing I never used was a off. I never said hell on stage. Uh -huh. not, not for we any other reason. We never did. No, 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 not we. I was a clown. Uh -huh. and you see a person that's a clown that I run out and take a slide and do a split. I see. You see that kind of a crazy person and then you say a four letter word. Why? Uh -huh. Did it yeah. fit? No. No. Joan Rivers is going to be doing your life story. Yeah, she's doing my life story. And she's going to portray me. I'm she's the only one in why? Hollywood that ever sold, I didn't sell or could get a movie without a script, uh -huh. without a book. Book. Are you writing a book? No, you don't understand. I'm the only one in Hollywood ever did that. Do you know how it happened? How? I developed Dennis Klein, a great, great. writer. He is a good writer. Yes. A writer, great writer. John, Johnny Carson, I met Carson, him 20 years he? ago. Johnny he, Carson? No, no, he did Buffalo Bill and uh, Mary Hart and Mary Hart. Mary Hart. And he was, see, all my people are like a germ away from me. Right. Off the wall people. You know, they don't tell jokes. None of my people tell jokes. No offense, Mr. No, no, don't, don't, no, no, I don't no. understand what you mean by that off-the-wall people. I meant Well, did they you see Mary jokes. Hartman, Mary yes, Hartman material? Yes, but they're, yes. It wasn't an ordinary set. program. Did you see Buffalo Bill? The shot is the sweetest thing inside. He's just afraid that somebody won't hurt him. Hurt him, that's right. I Watch agree. out for those people who smile. Who smile. They're very yeah. sweet, and they never get mad. Uh-huh. Take a walk When back. you look for comedians and comics when you go to the clubs, you see these young people.
do you see in them, Sally? You've been around for years, and your son is, you know, what do you actually see? I'll tell you what I see. I see, see a lot of people that are not themselves. Even if their material is bad. You oh, I don't care about but that. But the material, because that, go ahead. No. What do you see? No, 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 I, I, I look at them, and I say, I wonder if there's something inside they're afraid to do. I wonder if there's something inside. Now, that's how I develop people. You know that uh, African kid, I call him African because they get mad at me if I call him black now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, yeah. I can't think of his name. Coswell. 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 Yeah. Now, he, he, he got up there, and I said to him, uh, I want you to remember one thing. If I, I'm going to help you, but you've got to do something. You're doing something that you think they like. Right. Big mistake. I want you to do, that's what I, uh, when I do found something Pat, that do something that everybody said, you can't do that, they won't let you, do. who's they? I want to know who they is, yeah. you're they. Yes. I said, you, I don't want to hear they. So I said, Coswell, and sure, I just told him that, and he called me back and he said uh -huh. to me, oh, you're so right, you're so right. He said, now I developed this, listen, uh -huh. and once I get that out of somebody, I got him going. Uh -huh. I always try to get who they are, because oh, you know that everybody's different. True. John True. Wayne was a star because he was different. Betty Davis was a star when she said, uh -huh. I hate you. And I'm glad I hate you. I didn't hate you. I'd like you. Uh -huh. Personality, individuality. No, not, in, not even the personality. That's how she talks. I, I don't think I can do it. Because she never gave up her voice for a script. John Wayne never gave up his walk for a script. Personality, dear. You develop your own personality and you stick with it. That's no, what you it is. You don't want to do anybody else. You want That's to be right. you. That's right. And the ones that have that kind of, per and they develop into professional people, uh -huh. they have a better chance. Your son, happy records, still selling. Lenny Bruce's records are still selling. You he know, I went to a bookstore and I, I mean, couldn't find uh, the books that are out on him. There's an absurgence on Lenny uh -huh. because the generation grew up. It was the same thing when I tried to sell. Lenny died in 1966. 1966. 1966. I went right out and all I had, the, we, we lost the house, we lost everything, and all I had in a basket was tapes of Lenny. That's it. No money, no nothing. Kitty and I, I was dumb. I didn't know.